How's it going everyone? It's me Slyer and welcome to Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I'm going to come out and say I have all the Danganronpa games, haven't beaten them, really want to play them because they're really good story based games and I really love a good story. Uh, I do have a bit of time in this game. And then beat it, if that's what you're fucking asking. But we're gonna be playing all of them, starting with the first one, of course. We already have the waifu on the right side. And then... Guy on the left side. And we're gonna play in English. I'm just gonna stay up normal because I'm a little bitch! Fucking bears back. Uh. Okay. Just gonna. What is going on? Is that what drugs are like? I've never been on drugs before, so... Don't think that's how that works, but sure. about this game that does voice acting. So I won't do that much reading. Yeah. Alright, here we go. The massive high school towers of over all the other buildings in the urban and the bustling and this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands out at stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. Government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. I wish I had that in real life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. I wish I had that right now. It's built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Peak Academy a pretty fitting name. Does that make sense? There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to be already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. I stand there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. It was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegu. What's up, fam? As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, and average on the inside. Yo, same. That's a rock style I do. To be honest, I'd probably rock that. I guess what, school uniform of like a hoodie? Or, yeah, over a hoodie. Really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Ah, oh, dude, same! Dude, wanna be fucking pathetic together? I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff like that. Like, I, stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they all just be whatever most popular at, the, at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. Koda, we're gonna go places, me and you, my friend. We are one and the same. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I seem a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. 
I defeated the ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the, of the anything but ordinary Host Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. Wait, wait, say that? It's no wonder I would feel that way. What you don't understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last time to get ready for today. What a fucking Dell? <laughs> Host Peak Academy invites the, those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one income student is the ultimate pop sensation. How is that a way to get into school? Oh, you're the... B biggest pop idol, yeah, 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 fucking you're the ultimate. Okay. I guess she's a high school girl who also leads the singer for a pop pop group famous all over the country. She's also a baseball star. That one makes sense. He was a cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Ow. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. How? It's like the first one! Oh, you're the best pop and you're the ultimate model, I guess. Fucking come on in! Who's the ultimate model? She'll be on the cover of, of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. Hey, you're a fucking nuisance to society. Welcome to school. Oh, I'd be accepted in every school then. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs ever a lovely guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator. Leave that one. The ultimate gambler. The ultimate swing pro. That one makes sense. The ultimate programmer. That one makes sense. The ultimate clairvoyant. No. And then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I feel like a tame little house cat who'd wander into a pride of lions. That's a nice description there. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. Same. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Oh, can they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging, I mean. I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's even a bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter that sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. That's like the biggest slap to the face. <laughs> Fucking... Hey! What up? Uh, wanna come to school? Yeah, sure, I'm just... No, I'm not really a guy. Oh, I don't know you're in. Cool, what, what am I? Uh, just super lucky. What? You're just really lucky. Cool. Thanks. Remind me that I have no talent whatsoever. This build out plan is dead. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declaring her offer. But after, after, after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, 
I just couldn't say no. I mean, fuck it, I'll fucking go. Like, oh, you're ultimate lucky? Fuck it, I'll go. But then, actually staying there in front of school, of the school, I started to feel lost. Like, I didn't belong there. Like, I feel myself losing my nerve. But still, can't stand here in front of this gate forever. Because I'm placed rumor to myself, I look down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all the, all my determination, tried to act like I'd, I'd done this a million times before. I need to find a better voice for Makoto, try to mimic his. On top, and I took my first step toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. We didn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's a still full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just sitting around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? I guess maybe I just give up my voice. Let me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step in Hope Speak Academy. This is my first step towards starting a new life in a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Uh-oh. What the? The instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped. Twisted. Fuck, I was drugged. Damn it. She had seen it coming. It was like some kind of delusion. Melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning. Mixing. Melting away. Then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I wasn't brought to Hope Speak Academy was because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Yeah, see, I, I already have saves. I'm gonna save here. <clears throat> I love the art stuff for this game. Our stuff in this game is fantastic. Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels. Heavy. Fuck, I was drugged. Jesus Christ, how did I get drugged? Someone sneak up behind me, stick a needle in my butt, and be like, hey, sleep, bitch, and I just pass out. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off. <laughs> zonk. Did you just say fall asleep? Or... Fall asleep is better. Zonk off. I'm like a sexual innuendo in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but. What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a class I've never been in before. What the heck is going on? Ooh, pretty. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. First, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object, you can interact with the... You can press the A button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional buttons or the L and R buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Da, 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 da. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? So, is it just like... Okay. Fuck, it's all question mark at it. That's stuff to fall asleep on. I can still see a line of drool on the have left there. Oh. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, sit down on the desk. Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something hard written on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this. Oh, I already read that. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Yes. 
Someone's idea of a meme! Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. Who's after 7 when I got first got here? Has it been almost an hour since then? I don't think we've been asleep for an hour. Okay. Is that a, is that a, a surveillance camera? This is what we live in. I guess they have the, these to keep weird from just wandering it. Well, looking out the window, I don't think anyone's getting any time soon there, Makoto. What the heck? In a normal classroom, that, that's where a window should be. It looks like some kind of mental place and bolted over it. Fair knock on it. Yep. Definitely metal. Thick too. <laughs> Three C's. Very solid. Wait. That's not what matters. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Fucking no one's getting in. Fucking no one's getting in with a fucking metal plate. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened? I got myself to I got myself so wound up I passed down in the middle of, in the main hall. And someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. Hope's Peak. But then, if that's true, I'm sure there's more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like it's a prison or something. Yeah, no shit! None of no, this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students right now. You leave the classroom by pressing the B button. Something else we can check out? There's a TV. School is, is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. I mean, don't classrooms usually have TVs anyway? Oh, how the fuck's that weird? Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Let's check this one. Oh, that's just the TV again. Can I check this? Maybe the area? Sure. Jesus, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, it's just sound just head to the main hall. Use left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the B button while moving to run. Uh, also, you can press the Y button to bring up a map. Press the Y button again to close the map. How convenient. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Also, I'd normally turn off the head body and turn that off, but... Oh, can I bring up options? Can't bring up options. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, I can't do it yet. Right, whatever. Uh... Uh, okay, so this way. This way? By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Oh fuck, there's a lot of people here. I'm gonna run out of voices. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, fuck. It's a lot more whiny or fuck. Okay, I'll then get to Makoto's voice. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Class got canceled. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. This is Makoto just looking back and forth. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just... Saying before me were the ultimate students that had been hand picked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. You guys are just imagining it? I swear I thought I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Ooh. Um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just... asleep. Huh? Oh fuck. Whoa, you too? Hmm. Hey, Fiora. Things just kept getting curiouser and curiouser. I'm fucking, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. That was racist. Probably was. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is, that this is a strange situation indeed. I'm gonna fuck me. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! 
Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your target is unacceptable. Surely you are aware the meeting will start at 8 a.m. sharp. To believe in your first days are unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? I literally have no break. I'm literally coming up with voices on the spot. The hell? That was no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> maybe, but it may be a good to, to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't even know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost. Same, Makoto. I'm still trying to figure out voices. I mean, you're probably dealing with other shit. I'm trying to figure out like how the fuck we're gonna voice every single character. But I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess there's a good chance that I'm gonna get. I already looked up everyone on the, up on the Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. And find out. Let's start by talking to those five over there. You may have to press the A button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Ah, fuck! I have to pay attention! Uh, let's start from left to right. I didn't I'm see you. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Already don't like you. Kiyotaka. Ultimate Moral Compass! <laughs> so that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a false honor student. Ah, oh, great. I already don't like you. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. Alright, so he's a great two shoes. Good to know. They say he respects rules above all else. Earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. Sure. You hear me? And to keep that from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. Makoto, we're gonna be good friends, me and you. There's a punch talk in the face button. I'm gonna punch it so hard. Toku Fukawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. I might lower the music so I can barely hear the voices. Ultimate writing projects. That will also make sense! Yeah, she wrote a novel and she was. She was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary, her literary career. Then two years ago, she released Soul Lingers of Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot the, that fishermen quickly shot at the top of every hottest men pole. <laughs> Alright. Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to known as the ultimate writing prodigy. Is, can I change the sounds? I can't. There's no way I can change the sounds, right? Oh! Dang, you're reading the text. The spirit! What else can you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey dovey type. What, with her masterpiece being a romance and all? your problem what it's not polite to stare you know stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature filthy creature no no I just thought I, I know you just thought you just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman you, you thought I was so funny no that's not what I was thinking at all I'm telling you don't bother trying to lie to me I know it's true otherwise you I know you can't stop stand looking at me anyway whatever I don't really care I'm, I'm used to it Wow. It's like my inferiority complex. Also same. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Ugh. Sayaka Maizono, I guess? Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Hey, you're cool. You're not a bitch. 
Never mind, you are a bitch. You're the pop sensation. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that wasn't sent. I can't find place. Sayaka Mizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop gang famous all across the country. In fact, she's the lead singer. Why does the one in the back right's eyes look weird? Like, the forward look normal, and then the back right looks... Okay. As the older pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. What about the older fashionista? But actually, that's not the only reason why I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Oh, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. That's a weird compliment, Makoto. Let's, uh, let's not call people dolls. You're justifying women, Makoto? I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Uh... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. He's a sharp one. Hey, um... Uh, hey. By any chance... Now yeah, what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to squeeze our vibe with that's ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Sorry, just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Some objections are very for interesting yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of animal chit-chat. Um... You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounds like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Alright, next up, Leon Kuwata. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? What's up? Alright, see, this one makes sense. Ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their ch clean up here. The ultimate baseball star. That's a, and that's a perfect athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... Take a break. Well, are you expecting some kind of... Some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I'm just expecting more of a... You know... Sporty looking traditional baseball player type? I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I really don't like you. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is a part of national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not, I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna die at back normal either. Well, you had red hair in the picture. Hey, listen. Actually, can I ever tell you honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball. I don't like it all. I never go to single practice. He's never practiced. He's still his team star player? I'm some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. I dream for the future? <laughs> one of my bad lives is getting into music. You can't feel that star quality or I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a strong and someone on guitar, and we're set. Wait. You're also gonna need, like, a bassist. If you're going, like, I'm gonna sing, like, rock band. You're gonna need a bassist and a drummer. You're gonna need more than a guitarist and a songwriter. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Hey, how's it going? I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. No, because you're the ultimate fanfic writer. If you me. So we have like, the ultimate... The ultimate writing prodigy. And then we have the ultimate fanfic creator. <laughs> By the way, how much do you know about the world 2 DR? <laughs> 2D is better than 3D. Oh my god. I'm just gonna with a little 2D art. World of 2D. 
Well, in that world, I am well known to supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Get who you ship. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event is passing to legend. Hmm. Someone didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid can you be? Yo, who do you ship for? Just tell me. But, yo. That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies? That, that, that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... <laughs> the world of such idiots means nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconception about fan fiction. God. <laughs> Man, if you died, I would not care. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, don't call me that, you would have comprehended its greatness immediately. No, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. My work is filled with deepest meaning. <laughs> what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's embracing our basest urges. <laughs> I don't think I want to comprehend it. Ooh, you five. Okay, now talk to those five over there. We're gonna do left to right. Hey, I actually like you. I'm Aoi Asahina. Aoi? Just call me Hina. What's up? Okay, I'll call you Hina, but how's it? Aoi? Aoi? I think it's Aoi. Aoi. I'm gonna call you Hina. Oh, that makes sense. The ultimate swimming pro. Aoi, I guess Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic kid. Olympic cat, cat, cadet? She's that adapted the ultimate swimming pro. Combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. I agree, Makoto. Mm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is. God, I'm an asshole. Makoto? We're gonna be really good friends. You got it. Sure, sure. Got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across the palm as she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? Spell exactly like it sounds. Mm. Um... <laughs> well, I have no idea. Huh? I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya. Sh sure, same here. And one thing I learned is she's totally easy going and bursting with energy. I like her already. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Chihiro Fujisaki. Ah, so I know what makes sense. The ultimate programmer. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope you can get along. So I'm here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we, have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Alright, God, you're more nasty than I thought, but whatever. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her legion of the fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What are you apologizing for now? Um, no, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, no, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought. I feel so bad. Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't understand why your fans are so into her. Wife! Yes. Yes, don't talk to me. Um. Can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kyogre. Ultimate question mark. Ah, so you're a mystery. She's pretty tight lips, huh? Oh, oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anymore in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. I did see that there are students like me who want to 
didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <gasps> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. I think if I were turned up all lines, I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Dot, 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 dot. Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. So I love you. Yo, what up, other wife? Hi! I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. So. The ultimate fashionista, Junko Enishima. Anybody recognize this one? What's that supposed to mean? She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk? So they aren't real? You know, what shit! What do you do? Come on, I'm not so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you're totally blown away by a certain tinges of little diva of ours. <laughs> to make the eyes junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. And I remember you. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Ultimate Biker Gang Leader. Mondo Awada. Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's a lot bigger than the bike. I just realized this. He's in respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. Wait, I think I already read that. Um... Nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Those four over there are the only ones left. All oh, right, because I'm the. Oh, fuck me. I was like, there's gonna be five more, and I'm like, wait, I'm the 15th. We're gonna go from right to left. Hi, Celeste! I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. An ultimate gambler. Celestia Luden... Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name, but if you don't mind, I'd afraid for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as mentioned, I'd rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. This rumors of another thorough right about her. Herself styled Celestial, Celestial Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic will lead it close. Alright. Everything about her is wrapped in a bit of lies. Alright, dude, we don't fucking we have to fucking kink shame people here. But kink shaming is like Makoto's kink, so. They say that she entered and won an underground gambling tournament. I'm sure that's illegal. Earning the title of Queen of Liars. Alright, now we're gonna trust her. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself for her. Yeah, no shit! If her nickname is the Queen of Liars, I don't think we should trust her in general. Here we go. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. I'm gonna call you Hero. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. You laid back fuck. Ultimate clairvoyant. What's a clairvoyant again? There's a hero Hagakura, known as Supernova in the psychic community. Supernova? The trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Oh, fortune telling. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Uh, okay, I give up. Uh, what happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guard angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off the skyfish in its mouth. 
He was on drugs. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Today we should grab some brewskis. Some brewskis? Yo, cracking open a coal with the boys. <laughs> and get real deep into Lumeria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. I see, and well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, but this long story. Get a couple of brewskis. Yeah, fucking. Name's no, sorry, bro. Oh, fuck you, homie. I don't even like you. I'm oh, fucking I'm a fucking rich boy. Fuck me. Hi, nice to meet you. This is the most half assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I could do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byaki Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. Yeah, from what I played, I don't like him. He's already starting managing business operations, his own personal assets are, well, fast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is. I'm probably fucking butchering that. It's completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from what from that hope speak thread online. Come on. We're doing the introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. Zero says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. Man, if I could kill you, I'd kill you. Hey, what's up? I am Sakura Okami. You're terrifying. I guess that would kind of make sense. We're in Japan. Oh, no jeez. And almost after she was a guy. <laughs> Insert song. Dude looks like a lady. Dun, dun. Wait, is another wrong? Dude looks like a lady. Dun, dun. Dude looks like a lady. Did I say something like that out loud? That day I could turn into a human meatball. And now I remember. She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won. Despite being a girl. Ah, sexist much? Yeah, girls can fucking kick my ass. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches! That's a perfect win! Jesus Christ, a fucking perfect win ratio? I thought it also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest no relative to the Prime Apes, the famed missing link. I need to come help you students are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you were if you buy your life before at all costs. Staying in front of her now, I don't think there is actually anything about that. Hey. Hey, you. Yes! It's not your attention without even realizing it. They started to plug a problem out of my body. Um, what are you? I see. Must be quality and quality is right around that an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. <laughs> what a shame, you're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Yeah, I probably will die. And with that, all the introductions are done. Just, uh, I'm gonna break them into two parts. I wanna see if the specific part I wanna end on. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of doll eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, well, nothing. you see, um, Lakota, you said a bunch of stuff happened, and then you just and you were just you were just asleep, right? Well, that's true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after we just got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. When we came to, we were somewhere right here, right here in the middle of the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. Did every one of us would get knocked out like that? Piece of shit! Exactly, that's why we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing. You say we're 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 all the winners of the class classes in hallway world. Probably fucked with it. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of metal big metal plates with a bad chat about. Are you for real? Plus all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere and either. People still have PDAs? What do you say for personal data? I don't fucking know. And then there's the main hall here. Front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But that wasn't anything like that. Was, but there was nothing like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like you know crime or something. Is it like what, like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Sure up. I'm gonna put this old part of a school lot orientation person. Yeah, don't fucking knock us out and lock us in here. Yeah, it's a fucking orientation, but it's college. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it, take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? 
Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I, so I can use a little shut eye. I feel like everyone's tension is evaporating. But then, it began. Testing, testing, mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. <sighs> Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Fucking great. Voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey. hey, what? You're going to take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped in the gender ceremony. <laughs> yeah, thank God it's all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? Well, I guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Well, I'd well, have to go and kill the mood. Huh? Wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> That is that then, I'll see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for their gym. But I was frozen where I stood. An uneasy feeling I had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. I looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, this this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. We only chance to push ahead. I don't know the fucking words to give you. I right, guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. It's time to go to the gym, right? Oh, I can end it off here. I forgot there's a save point. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end off the. First part of a Duncan Rump, a trigger happy havoc here. Uh, thanks you all for watching. We'll see you all in the next part. We're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, Jesus tap dancing Christ. What is happening? I'm Slyor. I'll see you guys next time.